Right now, thousands of nurses at the University of Chicago Medical Center are on strike. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mike Puccelli. Aaron Kennedy is on assignment. Now, the strike comes after the union and hospital reps failed to agree on a new contract. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe details why nurses say the hospital forced them into a strike. Hundreds of nurses have been out here on Maryland Avenue since 7 this morning. Some are still in their uniforms, but many are in red T-shirts, and they're holding up signs that say patient care is our top priority. Our main issue is safe staffing. We are working short, seems all of the time, every day, every shift. We filed over 1,700 reports of unsafe staffing in the last 18 months. Clad with flags, a megaphone, and several signs, nurses at the University of Chicago Medical Center are on strike. And they say it's for patient safety. When you have five patients, you cannot be with all five at the same time and frequently. That's what's required. We did not walk out on our patients. We walked out for safe staffing, which is for our patients. Nurses say they are forced to be on call and that they are required to work overtime even after their 12-hour shifts. They also say they are penalized for taking sick time. The medical center's response is still the same. They say their staffing numbers are some of the best in the state and that complaints from nurses about staffing are low. We are inarguably one of the safest hospitals in the country and the data support that for certain and we're going to remain focused on that. They still won't say the exact number of nurses they are bringing in to replace the thousands now on strike, only that hundreds are now in place. The nurses say this is only a one-day strike, but because the hospital has brought in replacement nurses, these nurses won't be able to get back to work until next Wednesday. That's the same day both sides will get back to negotiating. In Hyde Park, Mugo Odigwe, CBS 2 News.